Huh, now that I've replenished my health, all that's left to do is check out the bank. Good day. Um, gonna make it through because I gotta go to the safe. What do you mean don't go in there? What do you mean it's not your fault? Where is everything? We, oh my god. We got robbed! Hey guys, Cinderock here, and today I am going to be figuring out who the hell stole all of my items from the bank. I'm so pissed. But luckily, I have been prepared for this instance. I made sure of it. So let's go down here. And over here to, in case of bank robbery. Luckily, I had my diamond chest, I mean, uh, diamond gear, and my sword enchanted. And I had to use my levels to create my bow, which is a bow of power two and punch one. I only have eight arrows left, so this, so I have to make them last. Let's see, diamond helmet, and I'll take this. And I'll go put this in the chest, because I don't need it anymore. And let's see, now to go upstairs and make a journal, because no detective should be without a proper journal to etch all of its, well, descriptions in. I need to figure out who st who stole it, and I think the first thing to do is ask all the people in my village. So let's go over here, and if I remember how to make it correctly, it was... Yep, there we go. Alright. And I'll just make a bookcase so that no one can get into my chanting room. That way, I'll be s it'll be safe. Oh, whoops. Can never be too careful. There we go. The only thing is it'll be dark in there. I don't have any more torches. I used them all up in here because of that dumbass creeper. Alright, well I have to go back down now, so that was kind of stupid. But here we go. Alright, so it's going to be dark in here for a little bit. There we go. I'll drop off my iron sword too, just in case. Ugh. And I was planning on using all those items to make a new pickaxe. Wait a minute. Maybe I could use my diamond pickaxe. It should still be up in my room. I should just leave this open for now. No, actually, I'll leave it closed. Better to be safe than sorry. Don't want another freaking creeper crawling in there. So now I'll have to go check upstairs and see if my pick is in my chest. Let's see, I already used that, so... Nope. Dang it. It's not here. They took it. Well, I'm not going to need the shears, so I might as well put them in the image frame just so I know what this is. Alright. Now to get on to more serious matters. The first thing I'm going to have to do is... Wait, where's my book? There it is. Alright. So I'll just put that there for now. Actually, I'll keep the shovel here. There we go. Make it all nice and lined. Alright. So off we go. Let's go ask Johnson first. Johnson, have you heard about the break-in at the bank? You have. Did you see anyone come out of the bank with any of my money? No? You didn't see anything. You heard of it, but you didn't see anything. Oh, well, thanks for the assistance, I guess. Alright. Uh, Dicky, do you know anything about the break-in at the ro at the bank? You do? Oh, can you please tell me any information you have? For, for three emeralds? Dude, all my emeralds were stolen in the bank robbery. You know, Dicky, you're just a massive... Ugh. Why do you even do these things? Just tell me the information. This could benefit you. Alright, fine. How about when I find the culprit, I'll use my three emeralds and give them to you afterwards. That sound fair? Alright, so what did the... Did you see who he looked like, or what he looked like? Okay, he was wearing a black robe. Okay, black robe. Uh, any other features? A scar on his right cheek. That's... Okay, scar on... Right cheek. Okay, anything else? No? Alright, well, thanks for your help. Ugh. Tiffany, do you know anything about the bank robbery? No, you're just shaking your head at the fact that there has been a bank robbery and you knew nothing about it? Alright. Well, on to... What the heck? Hey, what are you doing outside? Who are you? You, you came from the houses over there? Wait, what are you doing outside your house? You were trying to stop your friend? Wait a minute, did your friend say that he was going to go to the bank? He did? Oh my god, he must have gone to rob the bank. Did he go with anyone else? No? Alright, so I know who I'm looking for. Thanks for your help. Ah, oh, just great. Now I have to go around and find him. Actually, wait a minute, maybe the actually... Wow. 
Why didn't I just ask the others? Okay, so, um, Miss Butcher Lady, or I can't remember what your name is. Do you know anything of this guy's friend? Oh, he was just telling you information. I'm sorry for intruding on your conversation. Um, just asking, did he say anything about his friend being... No, you... Come on, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. Just please tell me information. This could be very important. He didn't give any specifics on his location. Well, dang it. Thanks for the information anyway. Uh, guess I'm going to go off to ask Albert. Albert, do you have any information on the guy who just went off? No? You, but you did see him in the middle of the night leaving. Okay. So, I know that it was him. Did you see any direction he went in? Did he, like, did he go that way or did he go that way? That way, you say? Alright. Hmm. Well, maybe I can... Let me I can see this way. Huh. Hey, maybe I'll ask that hobo in my castle. Maybe he has any... Maybe he has some information on that guy. Albert said he came this way. Alright, so let's ask him. Uh, Mr. Hobo? Uh, Mr. Hobo? There you are. Do you have any idea as to where another guy in a black robe might have gone? You saw him come this way. Did he go Did he go near the um, bank, right? He did, okay. So, did he come back here or did he... He just disappeared into the forest? Okay, thanks for your assistance. Oh, just great. He went into my treehouse. Dang it. Why did I build these incapably long doors? I mean, doors that take a long time to open. What the hell happened to that sentence there? Whatever. Out. Alright. Well, I'm going to need to go into my f tree house now. He probably is in there somewhere. Oh my god, maybe he went behind the painting. That sneaky devil. Yeah, he's probably behind my paintings, or he could be at the top of the staircase. Dude, why did you steal my stuff from the bank? You were just in it for the... Dude, come on. Seriously, why would you steal from a bank just for the fun of it? Oh, like I've heard that a million times. I'll never do it again. Dude, I know your type. You're just going to do it once more time. Where'd you hide all the stuff? Is it in my treehouse? Did you hide it in here? Let me see. Nope, not hidden in here. Wait, what do you mean you never knew there was a doorway behind here? You seriously never knew about this wall? And, and now I can't get through for some reason. Oh, dude, you locked a door. How uncool. Ah, uh, screw this. Well, at least that proves he's locked up now until he comes out again. Maybe I can check in here for some news. Nope, nothing in here. Hmm. Everything seems to be normal. Alright, well, I have nothing else. Actually, maybe I should ask him something else. Dang it. How do I... Ugh. I'm just going to have to break through this doorway. Ugh. Dang it. I didn't want to have to do this. I guess this spot is just going to be empty from now on. Whatever. Alright, but... Where did he go? Oh, there you are. Why were you trailing me? W okay, so if you didn't hide it in the treehouse, where did you hide all the items? You gave them to your assistant. Okay, and what did he look like? Actually, let me start this on a new page. What did he look like? He was tall. Okay, sorry. Um, oh, he was gray. Okay, tall, gray. What else? Oh, that's how I write gray. Yes, I know there's also an A that could be used, but I don't care at the moment. Just, is there anything else you could say? He was strong. Do I really have to put that? Fine. He was strong. Oh, sorry. He was strong. Uh, seriously, what is wrong with me today? He is strong. No. Oh my god, this is getting hard. There. He's strong. Okay, what else? Can you at least give me a name, maybe? It began with an R. That's all you're going to give me? Oh, thanks for your information, dude. Alright. Well, now to get through here. Alright, so now I have to look for someone with an R name. Hmm. The only one I can think of is Rotundo, but he's too much of an idiot to do something like this. 
There's absolutely no way that thinking about Rotunda will come back to bite me in the butt. Wait, why am I going up here? Huh. Maybe I can go back to the scene of the crime. Oh, whoops. A lot of lag. Maybe I can go back to the scene of the crime and see what happened there. Maybe ask the bank teller for a few information. Maybe he knows more about the mystery assailant. Okay. Alright, back to the scene of the crime. Excuse me, Mr. Bank Teller. Oh, I'm sorry, your name is Robert. Wait a minute. Robert. You are not really that tall. You're not gray. Are you strong? I don't think bench pressing 32 pounds is exactly a sign that you're strong. N more or less strong. But did you see anyone besides the bank uh, besides that black guy in the robe come in? I mean, the guy in the black robe. Come on, dude, don't be so sensitive about it. Here, let me see if I can find some evidence in here. Did you see any assailants with him, such as a guy who was tall, gray, and strong? No? You didn't? Alright, well, whatever. Out. Maybe he was waiting outside in the getaway car, or whatever he used. Wait a minute. Getaway cart. Maybe I can ask the railroad assistant if there's any information on there. My railroad does have a system to get here. Hmm. This is turning into a great mystery. Excuse me, um, Mr. Train Depot person, whoever you are. Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Do you have any idea as to any people who came by here, such as a guy in a black robe or a strong, big, gray guy? Oh, they just... They came by a few minutes ago? Wait a minute, how were they just here a few minutes ago? Oh, the gray guy was here a few minutes ago. Did he say where he was going? He was returning to town. Oh god, I have to get back. It's nighttime. Shit. Okay. I have to get back as fast as possible. A big gray guy with... Uh, this is weird. Alright. So, let's see. Was there anyone else in town who might know information on this? I haven't asked the guy at the information booth yet. Maybe he has some ideas. I also haven't asked uh, Jonathan. Maybe he has some information too. I don't know, but first things first, I'm going to bed. Alright. Huh. What the? Where's all my water? Okay, now that's the second mystery I have to figure out. Who stole my water? And what exactly happened with this big assailant guy? Ugh, I need to rest. My head is getting dizzy. Maybe some sleep will be good. Ugh. Uh. Yep, that's just what I needed. Alright, uh, good morning, Theodore. Good morning, uh, uh, Charlotte. Almost forgot your name there for a second. <laughs> Alright. Well, I should probably put this sapling away. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. So, I have to figure out who stole my water and who that assailant was. I just need to ask Jonathan and the guy at the information booth. I should probably ask the guy at the information booth first. I also have the guy at the hotel to ask. But let's ask the guy at the information booth first. Excuse me, do you know of anyone who might have come by here with, say, a sack of precious gems? No, but you would like to meet them? R oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Ugh. There's no way you're going to sell all those pamphlets in a day. I keep telling you, people are going to come. Don't get antsy about it, okay? Just stop being antsy. Thank you. But, look, do you have any information on the big gray guy or not? Or where my water has gone? You do have information. Can you please tell me? You're not going to tell me until I pay you... Uh, 47 gold? Are you kidding me? Dude, I have a sword. Do you want to play? I ain't going to play. I'll be nice to you. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll be nice to you if you, uh, cooperate with me. You know, I mean, you got a pretty nice shop here. Be a shame if anything were to, say, happen to it. Man, I wish I didn't act right now. That would be so th theatrical. Eh, whatever. Just please tell me if you have information. Come on. You don't want me to hurt you, do you? One lick of this sword could kill you, dude. Are you sure you want to take the chance? Thank you for cooperating. Now, did you see where this strong guy may have gone? 
Oh, he went to the hotel, alright. Um, how long ago? Last night, okay. Um, I'll go ask the hotel keeper about this. Good thing, because I was going to go ask him anyway. Alright, let's see. Excuse me, Mr. Hotel Manager. Do you know of a big gray guy who might have come in last night wanting a room? You do? He went up to the, the top suite? That's my room. What would he have been doing there? Hmm, I wonder if he's still there. Should have probably asked if he checked out, but I'm too much of a hurry. Hmm, nothing seems to be here. Maybe the chest? Nope, nothing. Huh. Oh well, whatever. Maybe he has some information on where he might have gone afterwards. He probably did check out. Excuse me, but did he actually check out? Yeah, I probably should have figured that. Did he say where he was going? He said he was feeling peckish, so he went to go get some bread. <gasps> he must be in Jonathan's bakery. I woke up about a few minutes ago, so he might still be there. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry for the interruption. Go down to Jonathan's bakery. Maybe he has some information. Jonathan, do you have any information on a guy who may have come down here before to get some bread? No information whatsoever? Really? He didn't say where he was going? You did see him. Okay, thank you. Is there any information you could tell me, such as his name? Oh, whoops. All you know is that it was started with an R. Well, thanks for the information. But, um, yeah, really, thank you. Um, no, I would not like to buy some bread. But thanks for the offer. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Hmm. You know, actually, maybe I should see if I left some iron in my furnite, uh, smelt that I smelted. Nope, nothing in here. Oh, wait! The stone I was going to use for Rotundo. I completely forgot. I should probably go deliver that to him. He's probably been waiting for this forever. I should probably apologize for not giving this to him sewer sooner. But, you know, I was kind of busy with my whole... What the heck is... What the... What, what, what the... What the hell is... What the... Rotundo! Rotundo, explain yourself. Why are there two other iron golems in here? A pool and 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 all the iron and gold. Wait a minute. Where did you get all this iron and gold? Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. Tall. You're about three blocks tall. Gray. You're definitely gray. Strong. There's no one stronger I know of. Wait a minute. You were at the hotel last night. You got bread from Jonathan. R O T U N D O. It all fits. Rotundo, how could you? Why were you assisting the guy in the black robe? It, it, it was a surprise? A surprise for what? For my, wait a minute. And you got the water from my back. Why'd you do that to me? How could you stab me in the back? What do you mean look in the chest? My, my pick. And some of the leftover gold. You, you enchanted it for me? It was a surprise for the ending of my series? Aw, oh, Rotundo, I'm sorry I misjudged you. But really, you gotta ask me the next time you try and borrow my stuff, okay? You were only being whiny to me before because you wanted everything to be perfect? So, you wanted this room because you wanted a place for us to hang out? Aw, uh, well thanks, man. You know, this only leads me to one thing I should probably do. And the one thing to do is party. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was an amazing first season. But yes, the first season of the Mind Chronicles is over. And this was an amazing experience for me because, after all, the Mind Chronicles was the first video I had ever made. I have just come such a long way, and I think we actually all have. I want to thank all the people who supported me, who supported this season. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will be starting season two in a little while. For now, I feel I have to focus on a few more important studies and uh, other videos and series that I want to make. Um, but like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was an amazing experience. And all that's left to say on the matter is, if you guys like this video, likes and favorites are appreciated. And I'll also leave a link in the description below to my Twitter, my Facebook, my DeviantArt. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. Once again, thank you and goodbye. Oh man, I wanted to do a sweet cannonball there.